मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग फर्स्टली सर आई वुड थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग टाइम फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम योर बिजी शेड्यूल कॉलेज दुनिया टीम विल रियली एक्सप्रेस आवर सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड फॉर शोइंग योर इंटरेस्ट इन आवर कैंप एंड थॉट्स ऑन एजुकेशन थैंक यू टू यू आल्सो सर लेट्स बिगिन विद आवर इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट सर यू हैव हेल्ड की पोजिशन एट एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट थ्रू आउट योर एंटायर प्रोफेशनल करियर सो वॉट किप्स यू कनेक्टेड विद द एजुकेशन सेक्टर एंड हाउ वॉज योर ओवरऑल एक्सपीरियंस मीन सो फॉर considering education sector you uh, can see that every sector is uh, changing right right from but uh, if you uh, see education sector particularly education sector is somewhere when you are in education sector you are always connected with the youth so uh, and that is uh, one of the thing which motivates us that you are always you feel yourself as a young because students come and go but you will be always there with the same generation same uh, say age group will be there and one of the best uh, big thing for mot- which motivates us to work in education sector is that when you see your students achieve something they went they went to the isro and become scientist or they start their own company and become a big uh, entrepreneur or they held a very big position in uh, good institutes or company that is what where we feel that something we had achieved and that is what we uh, it is always for a teacher for a professor uh, uh, attracts uh, in this education sector or keeps holding in this education sector great to know that sir moving on sir being the head of department of mmit what are your roles and responsibility towards the students being head of department there is a, a first uh, role first responsibility or role and responsibility of head of department is that to fulfill the need of students in terms of academics so we have to, to look at the, what academics uh, need of students are there that not only theor- theoretical knowledge theoretical knowledge through lectures through practicals so for practical we have to uh, see whether machines are running or not or adequate capacity capability of machines are there or not apart from this which is regular uh, academics we have to see or as a hod i have to see that whether students get anything better than uh, what we have so we we have to go to beyond syllabus right, right beyond syllabus then uh, arrange uh, say uh, industrial uh, visits or give them the exposure for new technologies to expert lectures or expo- uh, exposed exposures through uh, different competitions part- participation in uh, competition like baha supra etc and the biggest thing is that when you see the only academics we cannot exclude other uh, than academics that is extra curricular co curricular activities so whether students have been developed completely in their four years of uh, education so i need to sh- make sure that students get everything in this four years of their journey of uh, education right great to know that sir Moving on, sir, do you have any extracurricular activities to enhance the skill of the students? Yes, as you say that skill of the students, so let me is uh, just, just, just talk about knowledge. Now three things are there important for education. As we we are moving from uh, in the, we are we know that industry 4.0 it came education 4.0. Now we are moving for the national education policy 2020. there are always they are there before also but now the more focus is on the three thing that is knowledge then skill and then attitude so we are trying to build students in all the three parameters considering knowledge that is again in the classroom and all these things we are giving knowledge but as per skill is there we have special focus on for skill development in their in faculties each class will have one uh, say skill development program for each semester so for example for example second year student now they are uh, they are doing a skill development in a python program programming as this there is a new technology or third year students are working in uh, say robotic technology and fourth year students are working for pro- uh, product in, uh, improvement like techniques like six sigma and all these things so these are some skill development program we are giving other than curriculum apart from this we have big uh, tech, um, say types with different industries where industry 
industrial people came to college and give expert lectures from Tata Technology, Tata Motors, or uh, uh, like Thermax, uh, Volkswagen, so many companies are here. We also have one uh, tie up with Tata Technologies where we have developed one uh, say, uh, center where there are uh, machineries have been given by Tata Technologies where students can learn new technologies and they can do certain projects also and internship for skill development say internship it is compulsory for everyone in MIT in mechanical department so in third year for third year students after second year completion of second year to third year there is gap of say 25 to 30 days or 35 days so in that they go to industry and do one month or two month uh, 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 inter internship or after third year also third year to final year there is gap of the, say 30 30 to 40 days in there also, that period also students go in do the internship and in when we uh, students enter into final year so so 50 percent students have their projects sponsored through industry so they work in industry as their final year projects so in through this all these things there is skill development happening apart from this we have one more sector for one more uh, say uh, leg or one more thing in skill development that is a uh, uh, we have clubs so Ishray club is there, II club is there so many clubs are there in that club students do certain things through which skill development happen I, when I say skill development I am talking about both the skills that is a hard skill that is technical skill and soft skill so we are working on the development of both the skills that is soft skill development and hard skill development great to know that sir so moving on, what do you see as the greatest strengths of MMIT? Greatest strength of MMIT, if you see that, um, uh, what if you uh, enter into MMIT, you will find a, a very big campus, a very green campus is there, and there is a very peaceful atmosphere in there. That is one thing where you, you have, you, when you come into the college, you, uh, uh, the institute, you will find that yes, this is where we can learn. So. This is that is only uh, about uh, talk about infrastructure in there. We have very good infrastructure, not terms of uh, land or spacious labs are there. Everything is there as per infrastructure. But this is what say MMIT great strength is that MMIT is built for learners. So anyone anyone who want to do some, some uh, anyone to learn, they are welcome here. And everyone is, uh, uh, we are giving, making capable of everyone to uh, dream and to achieve their dream. A student from MMIT can go into ISRO, can go into DRDU, can become an entrepreneur, can go to uh, become IS, IPS, they can crack any central uh, government or state government uh, examinations. They are working with, as a manager, senior manager in company or they are going for MS in Germany or in European countries or in USA also. So everyone who want to do anything, that is what say their, his or her dream is there. We are, this MMIT is uh, something which can fulfill that dream. So a student can fulfill their dream at MMIT in their four years journey itself. So we have everything for that, spacious uh, uh, labs, library, best library, best infrastructure and very good support from uh, faculties and biggest thing is that management of MMIT, that is Marathwara Mitra is the most supportive management you will find every, uh, anywhere, not only Pune, on any, uh, in Maharashtra or in India. They support students in each manner. There, there is a the need for students for any uh, they want to go to uh, like uh, or visit to anywhere in country or they want expert lecture there is never we say no to students there are some financial assistance is also given to the students in terms of scholarship and everything so this is uh, MMIT is something where you can fulfill your dream great to know that sir thanks for putting some insight on the same Sir, moving on to the final question of our interview and uh, that is uh, Sir, what are some of the biggest challenges you see for higher education in general? It is not for higher education, it is for every education sector now 
as you know that technology is biggest challenge is i say right uh, everyone has uh, the, the 4g to come. we came to the 5g and will be there in 6g and now we are in the era of chat gpt so everything is there on their students uh, uh, say mobile or laptop or whatever maybe they are using but why this is challenge it is something which is a uh, not regulated chat gpt or something youtube the students the students have it to the learn something is missing so they don't want to learn because everything is available so that if the ability of learning will be uh, gone away uh, that is the biggest challenge so we have to make sure that student will use technology i am we are not against of technology student should use technology but that technology should be used widely and the learning ability should not be say miss there should not be uh, say lost of learning or ability so learning is something if students lost then there is a big challenge for not only higher education for every education so that is what we are struggling the students do uh, study for examination through youtube and all these things and we don't know what they are watching so nice. this is not for mmit this is for everyone thank you sir thank you so much for giving your time i would like to express my sincere gratitude from the entire team of college dunia